sing, singing in Yiddish, right? With a personal connection. Um, like I said, it's it's for me. It's just uh, first of all, it's a fantastic opportunity to um, to sing material which is, I said, really valuable aesthetically, really interesting from the cultural point of view because Yiddish is a language which is no longer used in Poland, right? Well, language is the vehicle for culture, right? And uh, along with this language dying, a whole culture, you could say, died. This kind of Ashkenazi Jewish culture, which was wiped out with the Holocaust, right? So I think with, once you, when you try to revive a language, it's a, a really important aspect of reviving a whole culture. So I think it relates to what we talked about earlier. The music is one of these aspects, but the music in Yiddish is perfect, right? Because it combines the language and the music. So uh, it's also fascinating for me that I can somehow, by singing the songs, bring to life um, a culture which is gone. And when I'm, uh, well, not entirely gone, thank God, <laughs> because you are working yeah, to, uh, on it to, to bring it back to life somehow. Uh, but uh, yeah, when I was singing this concert at the Zinger Festival in Warsaw, uh, in a language which I don't really know. Of course, I studied the lyrics, I know, knew what they mean so that I could engage myself emotionally in singing these songs. Um, but there were some really old people who came. To, so it was a whole kind of spectrum, age spectrum, from very young people to really kind of elderly people. And there were some ladies crying, you know. I think they were listening to songs which they might have remembered from their childhood or from what their you know, mothers or grandmothers were singing to them when they were going to sleep because they were mostly lullabies, right? For me also this form of the lullaby um, was ext extremely fra kind of fragile thing, something connected with the childhood, with kind of the deepest levels of your memory, of consciousness. So it was like a double symbolic value, yeah? First of all, in Yiddish, and secondly, a lullaby, so like a remnant from a world which is gone historically, but also gone in the way uh, like childhood kind of just fades, right? When you grow up. So very, very beautiful symbol, I think. 